Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Friday market webcast. Okay, so hey, very CPI day, we knew it was going to be an interesting day, right? And it was. So we talked about the next logical thing on this chart was to go down and interact with the lower band. We did that. They overshot it, traded all the way down to 3502. But I always give the analogy in the chat room of, look, you can only push the, 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 the beach ball under the water so far before it, you know, it shoots back up through the water and, and rips up and through. And the only issue is, is whether you're dumb enough to be looking down at the ball and then you get hit in the face. Are you that kid? I mean, we've all seen that kid. Don't be that kid. So um, they take it down to 3502 and then they rip it. They get a little bit of, I wouldn't even call it positive news, a little bit of like not the world is ending news right in around like 3580 and that was all they needed and then we were off and running uh, uh the printed they didn't quite get to 3700 but they got into a bunch of interesting areas and they got into some more interesting areas in globex so let's talk about that hourly chart okay we had the consolidation it was a little head fake up move down marginal lower low and then you know it was a reversal it's just, there's no other way to you know it was a now Was yesterday a reversal? Yes. Was yesterday the low? I don't know. Neither do you. Neither does anybody else. Who the hell knows? They bounced the last one too. So a lot of, you know, there's a lot that can happen. So for the bulls, what I would say is today is the day where the real work starts. Yesterday, that's easy. I mean, this thing gets that, that extended to the downside and you get, you know, you get some short covering and you get some FOMO. And then, you know, you get the reversal day. Now the real work starts. You've got weekly pivot, nine day, daily mid bend. So bulls, this is all, this is all fun to, to watch. It's fun to be long. Um, and if you're really going to do something here, if you're really going to put together a multi-day, multi-week actual move to the upside, you have to deal with these three areas. Daily mid-band, nine-day, weekly pivot. And what you can see here, this is an hourly chart, is you know, you've, got the hourly, you've got the hourly mid being support. But there's no definitive conversion of these three areas as support. And you've got... You've got the big gorilla here, the mid band, which held it in back here. I'm over here. Trying to hold it in again. And that's what you're seeing on the daily chart. Held it here and here. Here and here. Okay. So what I want to see today, all I'm interested in today is where do we close relative to the green line? If they take it out with some force and authority and hold it into a close and survive Sunday night and get into Monday, then I can say, okay, well, the bulls have a little bit of an actual point here. They're more than just noise and one big up day. We could you know, grind up a little bit here, but that doesn't mean that 3502 is the, is the end all be all. We won't know that for a long time. And it's probably not. But you know what? It doesn't matter at all. Worry about price, the 10 handles in front of you, and your risk. So, yeah, we didn't, we didn't short the actual CPI yesterday. We did a little bit down after it, it did its little 120 handle, three minute candle. Um, and we tried a little bit with shorts, and then our bull bear price down there was 10, 35.10. We ended up long 10 quarter, and then once it got going, we just sat there. It was our biggest runner of the year, and we had to do literally nothing with it. The, the thing I've always said about bear market rippers is you can be long, you can stand aside, but you don't want to be short. You can be long, stand aside, don't fight it short. It's going to go a lot farther, a lot further than people think. So... I got stopped out um, 
70s. So it was a 160 handle runner. It was the biggest runner of the year. And it was one of the easiest trades to manage of the year because they just, they just, they launched it. And, and in situations like that as traders, we want to micromanage it. We want to overmanage it. And all we did was just lightly move up the runner and give it enough room to work out. In those situations, less is definitely more. So that would be my one little trading lesson for today. In situations like that, less is more. Just get out of the way and let price do its job. Don't, don't micromanage something that's working like that. Those don't come along very often. When they do, just get out of the way. Don't overthink it. Don't help. Just let it do its thing. All right, so today, it's about the green line. Uh, five minute chart. You got VWAP coming in, sitting right on top of the nine day, 36.89. Um, you can see here, they tested a couple times during Globex. A um, little bit of a marginal lower high, right in around the Europe open. Um, the proprietary moving average is lined up with weekly pivot, 36.81. And right in the middle there, you've got hourly mid band at 86. So this whole 90 to, um, this whole 90, to call it, you know, 78, 80 is gonna be a thing. Um, we're not trading, we're, we're flat now. We'll wait for the open, but um, they've gotta deal with this. If they can convert here, then we talk about next week, we talk about things like, you know, 37, 35, stuff like that, if they're able to do it. If the bears dunk on it today, then I would say sometime in the next, two to three sessions, they've got to get back down to those 3502s. The one thing that gives me a little more pause that that 3502 might be the real deal is that that printed in the regular session. When you print stuff like that at three o'clock in the morning, they're gonna come back and retest it almost immediately. The fact that they did it during the regular day, it might have a little bit more, but that doesn't mean it's the, it's the end of the line. Please don't make assumptions like that. Just trade what's in front of you. All right, I'll shut up now. Everybody have a fantastic day. Be safe, be healthy, take care, trade them well. Have a great weekend. Don't overthink it. Respect price. Take care. Talk to you Monday.